Down to that summer killing spree that had Houston on edge. Three people killed in three days. The main suspect, a convicted rapist who was out on parole. Investigators say Jose Gilberto Rodriguez cut off his ankle monitor before this crime spree, sending an alert to authorities. Well, since July, Channel 2 Investigates has been asking what steps law enforcement took to track him down. And tonight we have answers. Investigator Robert Arnold has the timeline, and he's explaining changes coming to parolee supervision. Over the years, the complainant had one gunshot wound to the chest. Thousands of criminals, one had me by my hair with the gun on, have walked out of prison under an old law. Some of Houston's most notorious killers have been released on mandatory supervision. That law was meant to alleviate prison overcrowding by allowing felons, even violent ones, to accrue so-called good time. Every day they behaved in prison, they got to knock a day off the time they were required to stay in prison before the state had no choice but to release them on parole. It's something Crime Stoppers Andy Kahn has monitored for decades. We've seen it time and time again where you're mandatory, mandatory, and mandatory. After seeing inmates serve only fractions of their sentences, the legislature banned the practice for for violent felons in 1995, but could not make the change retroactive. So you have those pool of offenders who timing is everything in life. The county's archive keeps watch over the details of crimes a lot of people have forgotten about. But thousands of violent felons were sentenced under that old law, which means the implications will continue reverberating through the decades. I just felt like my heart had died, which I knew it did. Five years ago, Channel 2 Investigates showed you some of the violent criminals released under mandatory supervision. This issue was brought back to the forefront in July. This man is extremely dangerous. That's when investigators say Jose Gilberto Rodriguez went on a crime spree across the city that included robbery, three murders, and attempted murder. I just can't believe it. Rodriguez went to prison in the early 90s for auto theft, burglary, and rape. He was released under mandatory supervision less than a year ago. His release came with several restrictions, including tracking his whereabouts through a GPS monitor. Mr. Rodriguez really had shown himself to be a fairly model parolee. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice's Jeremy Diesel says Rodriguez complied with his parole conditions until July 5th. That's when a parole officer got an alert that he tampered with his GPS monitor. When parole first got the tampering alert on the 5th, what did the parole officer do? Well, it, it appears that there was some level of human error. TDCJ policy requires a parole officer to have a face-to-face -face meeting with a parolee within 24 hours of receiving a tampering alert. Did that happen? Uh, it doesn't appear that it did. In fact, a warrant for Rodriguez's arrest wasn't issued until three days later, a day before police say he began his crime spree. I would emphasize to you that the parole officer and her supervisor have both been fired. Chair of the Criminal Justice Committee, State Senator John Whitmire, believes what happened with Rodriguez was an isolated lapse, and the overall system is strict and effective. The tragedy of the Rodriguez case was a human breakdown. Still, Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo believes more can be done to get wanted parolees off the streets faster. Holding their feet to the fire and holding them accountable. Parole notifies law enforcement when a warrant is issued because parole officers don't have authority to arrest. But Acevedo says those notices don't indicate which cases should be treated with urgency. He says he's meeting with parole officials to talk about possible changes. To see how they can help us help them. Acevedo says he'll discuss creating a regional task force to try to track down parolees like Rodriguez who run. Senator Whitmire says he would like to see a statewide approach. You can read more about those ideas under the Investigate section of click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.